betting man, I probably have my money on Snake. Uh, just in this matchup, dude, Snake is so hard to kill. And yeah, if you're if you're playing Snake, you know the right way, you're filling up the screen with projectiles. It just it's a tough matchup for really anybody in the game. Though I guess Yoshi does have a little bit of, uh, I guess, a faux tough guy going on, right? Because he does have armor on his, his jump, so I guess he can kind of get through. And uh, I guess in general, maybe Raptor is just a better player, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Puts up 88% unanswered on Walugi here. As he gets caught with a grenade, so Walugi finally able to do some damage. See, but yeah, filling up the screen now. We got our grenades out. You got that C4. The light's gone off, so you got to be careful with that if you're Raptor. Let's see. Raptor doing a good job using his own area, I mean, his own projectile. Right? Doesn't have as many, but as long as you're, and you see just how scary a moment that was. <laughs> Raptor was on that C4 for half a second and realized immediately he needed to move. Let's see. But yeah, now we're, we're getting into the projectile game here. Raptor with a bit of a lead. Ooh, that was risky. He doesn't hit the attack. He doesn't get the stars hit afterwards. Uh, but, you know, not the end of the world. He's fine. So actually, that's good for Sinistry. Lands the back here. Walugi blows up with his own grenade in his hand, but gets back to center stage. But yeah, um, yeah I mean, on top of that, like, Walugi's down now, but it takes a lot to kill Snake. As here he is, sitting at 150% at max rage. And, you know, when you got like such quick sudden kill options like an up tilt like an, a tilt attack that kills is, is is op like tilt attacks are very rarely committal right and now you're in a position you've got a very strong character like snake sitting at max rage on top of that and what did i say a tilt attack that kills this throws out the up tilt and you know all that extra credit that raptor put in uh, it just gets wiped away immediately and now we are dead even going into the second stock and yeah, you, you saw Raptor kind of shake his head. He was able to get back to stage and get the kill quickly, but you know, you put in that much work early, right? You get someone up to 88% off top, you you expect to go into the second stock with a bit of a lead, and it, it just didn't happen here. So let's see, but um, but you know, if you're if you're with Lugie, you know, you gotta you know, lean into your drink a little bit. I'm gonna call that drink. Like I said, tilt attack that kills. I'm gonna call that a little bit drink. You gotta you gotta lead into some of your some of your more cheese uh, abilities, you know, you get your wins. But just like the first stop, we've got Raptor going hard out the gate, building up a good percentage lead. Let's see if Walugi can stay alive long enough to steal another kill here. It doesn't look like it. Raptor is locked in right now, making things very difficult for Walugi. Walugi finally able to get those grenades out. Let's see, gets the dash attack there, gets it with an egg. But yeah, um, yeah. if you're rapid, you just can't get frustrated, right? You, you know you're playing well. You're playing a very good neutral game. You're building up these percentage leads for a reason. It's just the nature of Smash, right? You got to you gotta finish off stocks. But, you know, like you're playing very well. Just because you don't have a big lead, even though you feel like you should, you can't let that frustrate you because frustration leads to mistakes. And, you know, next thing you're going to know, you're going to forget about a C4 and you're going to blow up and suddenly, you know, what we'll do is going to be on top of you. So be calm, be cool, continue to play your game, and you know, just kind of look for your opening, and there it is. Walugi gets a little too occupied trying to fill up the screen with projectiles. Uh, ends up eating an egg that comboed into, I think it maybe it was an up smash, I don't know. But yeah, getting grabbed at the ledge there. Uh, there wasn't much space for Raptor to go, so he ends up losing that stock. And now it's Walugi that's opening up an early percentage lead here on the final stop. Let's see. Man, the Nikita's, oh my goodness. Walugi piling it on. You know what? He didn't have the leads early, but guess what? The third stock is the most important. Immediately gets Raptor up to well over 100% now. And yeah, like I said, it's it's frustrating. You feel like you put in so much work to, to build up the percentage you had, and then it's just all gone in the blink of an eye, and suddenly you're playing down big. Uh, it was able to land a combo of his own, a little string there to get Waluki up to 75%. And now it, he could be dangerous, right? He's got full rage, but like I said, it's even with full rage, it's tough to kill Snake. Snake's a heavy, heavy character, man. Let's see if Raptor can work his way back into this. He 
has Walugi up over 100%. Again, he is working with full rage, but now Walugi just playing the long game here. I'm gonna keep throwing out these projectiles. Let's see what your mental stamina is like. Like, can you avoid all of this for long enough to find your opening, or are you gonna crack under just the, the constant psychological pressure that this barrage of projectiles is doing to you? Uh, and right now, yeah, both players kind of building a wall with their projectiles. Walugi able to shield that dash attack from Raptor. Let's see the Nikita's knocking Raptor around. Oh, but he lands that attack again. Uh, I think that's his down B. I should probably know by this point. We're only in like year, what, three or four of Smash Ultimate. But oh, wow, the drone comes back. And yeah, you got to worry about the hitbox on it. But, uh, but yeah, now if you're Raptor, you now you gotta be the one to frustrate with Luffy. Like, you've survived a ridiculously long time. You're over 200% against a snake. That does not happen. Now you gotta be the frustrating one, and you gotta steal this game, give yourself a lead. But uh, but yeah, like I said, Waluki, this very cool comic collector throwing out those projectiles. Like, it doesn't take much to kill you at this point. Like, you are gonna mess up. You're gonna give me something. But, uh, but yeah, Raptor, again, just... The stamina of this game going down to the last 50 seconds now. <laughs> the Nikita doesn't hit. Oh, but yeah, too, uh, too many projectiles there. He finally locked Raptor into place and caught him with that roll. And yeah, and that's all she wrote. Like I said, tilt attacks that kill. Big, big, big plus for your character. Must be nice. Uh, we are rolling into game two. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was a bit of a marathon, right? We um, we went down to under a minute in that game. That that was that was a rough one. But yeah, you got like I said, you got two characters that that can live the high percentages, and you know, like I said, Snake's whole game was about throwing projectiles, staying away from you until you make a mistake. Uh, Yoshi is about, you know, using his aerial mobility, just moving around, being very hard to hit. So, yeah, it's not not too surprising that this game went on for over six minutes. Back here at PS2, and, um, you know, yeah, if you're a Raptor, why not, right? It wasn't the stage that beat you, at least I don't feel like. Like, that could have gone either way at the end. It was last stock last hit, right? Whoever got the next big hit was going to win. So yeah, you don't you don't feel like anything about the platforms gave Walugi an undue advantage over your Yoshi. But uh, but yeah, just like the first game, Raptor up early, but is he gonna be able to close out the stock? Has Walugi up over 127% already? He himself is only at 50, but here come here come the projectiles and the fact that you just can't kill Snake, man. And it, it, it's going to get frustrating. And now you're hit with the back here. Now you give up stage control. And now you're going to get with Nikita's. You built up such a huge lead. And you, if you can't take off the stock, it, it's just a little rough for you. He does get it with the down air there. But yeah, after, you know, being under 50%, having Walugi over 127, you were probably hoping to not be at such a high percentage when you finally got your kill. Let's see what that kind of extra credit he can do here. He's got him at 30%. Does not get the grab there, but oh, a little bit of smoothing. Gets an aerial there. Walugi now fishing with that dash attack. Does not quite hit. The down tilt, nothing off of it. The shield, ah, does not read the rolling correctly. Walugi, though, doing a good job racking up the percentage. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, Raptor doing a good job racking up the percentage now. Uh, frustrating Walugi here. Getting a lot of mileage out of this stock. Has to be careful with the C4 at the ledge. He just had Relugi preoccupied with his own hitboxes floating out there. He wouldn't have a chance to, to pop the C4. Let's see the up smash. Oh, wow, the up smash gets him after the fact. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're after, I'll say you're pretty happy with getting Relugi up to such a high percentage. And this is what you wanted if you're a Raptor in that first game, right? You built the high percentage lead early, and then you're able to take advantage of it in closing stocks. Now you're up a complete stock uh, heading into stock three for against Walugi. Like, this is how you envision game one should have went. You're like, I had him, did the rights. So, like, I was doing big damage early. He couldn't get a beat on me. And then, you know, that that up tilt changed the game. But here, this is, this is where he feels like he probably should have been. And, you know... Now it's just about closing this one out, making this the best of three series, and getting yourself a spot in grands. Let's see, Walugi. 
with the stage control. He's going to keep stage control. Keeping Raptor well off stage here. He's got some ground to make up, right? He's got a full stock, and then he's got to get another stock after that. The vet is not going to spike, but oh, no tech. There was no red flash. Well, Luki could have teched that, but um, yeah, that's hard timing when you get hit right on ledge. So yeah, I don't really blame Walugi for not getting the timing on that. But like I said, if you're Raptor, it's a best of three. You've both given up a game here. But if you're Raptor, you should probably have some pretty good confidence, right? You feel like he stole game one from you. But then uh, game two is kind of like the regression to the mean, right? That, that was how it was supposed to happen. You build up, you do good percentage. You build up a percentage lead, like typically you do win. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a basketball team in the playoffs. You feel me? The series is tied at two two, but you know you have the the point differential lead. Like the games you won were blowouts, and the games you lost were really close. So yeah, the series is tied, but you should be feeling good. Like you overall, the numbers say that you're the better team. So right now, percentage wise, overall, the numbers say that Raptor is in control here. We'll see how that plays out in game three again we are still in the, uh, okay yeah we're best of five territory all the way through here of course this is losers finals up next is grants uh so walugi able to take the the percentage lead here tighter spaces so yeah raptor decided to go back to ps2 walugi's counter pick uh he picks smaller ps2 basically right with small battlefield he wants to give raptor even less space to navigate around his projectiles and i'd say that's pretty smart Fill up the stage and just give Raptor, you know, no place to run and hide. And then Akita there with uh, Walugi taking the strong lead and then racking up the extra percentage on this second stock. But yeah, I really like this counter pick for Walugi. Like I said, this Raptor just isn't going to have as much room to navigate. I don't know what, I, I'm not sure what Raptor is doing there, right? He didn't get, like, he didn't. He didn't get any extra damage by holding him there. Like, he didn't get any pummels, right, or a choose. And Yoshi's case, he just kind of held him for a second and tried to figure out where, what direction he wanted to throw him in. But, yeah, um, going deep off stage here, trying to steal this stock. But, yeah, this is this is typically more what you see from Snakes. Filling up the stage and living above 150% every single stock. This back throw is not going to kill. He's over 175 now. And this is just where it gets frustrating. It's like, come on, man, I've, I've earned this. I got you at 175, it's it's my turn. Let me start working on your next stock here. But yeah, and Walugi just, just nickel and diamond him with these projectiles right now, with these grenades, gets the dash attack there. Raptor up to 86% now. What is your option to close this stock? Walugi just low profiling now, just making things very difficult. I think he's trolling. With that, with that crawl right there, I think he was trolling. This is making things very difficult on Raptor right now. The Nikita floating around. Again, there's an active hitbox that takes up space. It cuts off half the stage from you if instead of going directly to the opponent, right, you just kind of let it hang around mid-stage for a little bit. And the up tilt almost seals the stock there, but yeah, that up tilt is so dangerous, man. It's quick. It's very non-committal, right? Like, it, like I said, because it's non-committal, it's hard to punish afterwards, and it kills. Up here now at 181 percent, uh, Raptor. He's, he's down bad right now. He just could not get this first stock off, and he runs into an up tilt. Raptor looking for the reverse three stock, but he's got to take this one off quickly, and he's just he's just not able to so far. And then the grenade gets him out of the grab, but the nair finally kills from center stage. Very rare that you see that attack kill. Even rarer from center stage, but you know. But he got your opponents over almost 200 you percent. Know, you feel like you earned that anyway, right? Like whatever. It doesn't matter if this isn't traditionally a kill move. It deserves a kill now. Let's see. Ah oh, man, but <laughs> Raptor now getting comboed into the the explosives that are on stage. Yeah, he just might have to. He just is going to have to take notes that you know, small battlefield is not a place you want to go to if you're Yoshi playing against Waluigi right now. Um, you know, yeah, I I don't really see the reverse three sock happening. You, you got to take this as a data download, and yeah, the back air off stage definitely going to kill. So you know, your raptor, you you put that one in your back pocket, and you say we are never going to small battlefield again. Uh, this out the way. 
All right, going into game four, Walugi looking to punch his ticket into grams. If you're, if you're Raptor, I don't know, I guess the antithesis of small battlefield would be like town and city, right? Nope, he's gonna go back to PS2. Oh yeah, you won there and you had a, you feel like you had a pretty good game one day even though you lost. So I can see why he would want to go back. Uh, that being said, if I'm Walugi, I am being a big jerk right now and saying, no, we cannot go back to PS2. You are not allowed to counterpick on the stage that you last went on, but you know, that's me being a jerk. Uh, Walugi, uh, not very, not very scared or fearful, says, you know what, you can have that. The rules say that you shouldn't be able to do this, but you know, I got you anyway. Any stage, anywhere, anytime, I'll take you on. Uh, and actually has a bit of a percentage lead here early on. Uh, let's see if Raptor can, you know, kind of stop the bleeding here. Oh, he does not. He gets caught in the end lag of his own projectile, and then Nikita hits him square in the chest and takes that first stock uh, relatively early compared to all the other stocks. You know, we got, we've seen both characters live well past max rage, so losing it just above 100%. Kind of feels early, and Walugi firmly in the driver's seat, looking to punch his ticket in the grands. Let's see if Raptor can, you know, kind of slowly claw his way back into this one. And the projectile is not quite landing. Walugi with the strong dash attack back to, to get stage control. And then, yeah, the, the standing, if you've got enough explosives around, you can just standing in shield and letting the grenades do the work. Right? You're kind of moving around. And again, you get to stand and shoot, but you have to go out and attack. I got, you know, I control the stage with these projectiles. As long as you don't grab, right, I'm able to catch you. So, Raptor, able to take off that first stock. Unfortunately, already over 100% himself. He's got a little bit of work to do, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. We've seen Raptor attack on 75% relatively quickly before. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> well, Lugi read the roll, and he had the right idea. He knew he was going to roll inwards, but... Uh, turned around it wasn't able to get that up uh, that up tilt out but yeah if you're a raptor even when you win you lose right you you're able to avoid the nikita off stage you get back on stage you land a hit and the same thing happened on this side of the stage you land a hit but you weren't able to run all the way away from nikita and you take a big hit for it and then the up smash cleans that stock off and yeah he's uh, raptor he he's behind the eight ball right now um from what he's shown, he can take off back-to-back -back stocks. Like, I fully believe he is capable of taking uh, two stocks unanswered. But, you know, Walugi, if you're if you're locked in and you realize, hey, we're on tournament stock for my opponent here, you're going to play this as calm and patiently as possible, right? you got four minutes to, you know, like I said, just wear down uh, Raptor's mental psyche like you did in that game one. Right? Like, I'm just going to keep throwing out projectiles for as long as possible and wear you down mentally and, you know, finally find my opening to close out this game. But, uh, but yeah, Raptor, like I said, he, he is more than capable of running it back, right? It's not a three stock where he needs to get down. It's just two. He's got Walugi up over 100%, but now that's not what you want. You can't, you can't play at that distance because if you are any snake player, is you're just going to projectile you to death. Right, like you, you got to be more of the medium to close range within, you know, burst range to try to get in there and get your hits. Let's see, the dash attack has been good money for Walugi all set, really. Here comes Nikita, the last second <laughs> shield from, from Raptor there. A couple of grenades on stage, but yeah, and again, this is... This is just where it gets frustrating, right? Like he's he's not he doesn't have to engage with you, so he's not going to. He's gonna throw out those projectiles, he's gonna pick his spots, and eventually he's gonna find his opening on you. And that's exactly what Walugi does there in emphatic fashion. Takes off another stock with a back air. Walugi headed into Grands. Um, yeah, good stuff back there. We saw Raptor doing some good things early, but yeah. Losing that game one is what I think did Raptor in. Like I said, he had a big lead early, couldn't quite close out the stocks, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's what Smash is about. You know, we're not playing with health bars here, right? We're playing, we're playing stocks. That's just, uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. But 